Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. I want to invite you to the Acts of Ministry 29th Church Anniversary. Our speaker will be Bishop Jason Nelson, and it will be at 7 p.m. March the 8th at 1224 Franklin Street. See you there. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. I want to welcome you to Miraculous March. This is the month that transforming hits your life in a different way, pulling you into another dimension. We're going to be talking about transforming this whole month, being transformed, going from a caterpillar to a butterfly. That's what Paul says to us in Romans chapter 12, and verse 2, when he says transform. And that word means a metamorphosis. So we're going to see a metamorphosis in our lives. You might say, Pastor, how can you be so sure? Well, the Bible teaches us that we are to call things that be not as though they were. And as we are watching, and I hope you're watching, as all the creation is changing, you're seeing us move from winter into the spring and i'm admonishing you to step into that change you're seeing the grass change you, you you're seeing the leaves and you're seeing trees bud and roses come to life and everything is changing everything is changing in creation which is only it is only a message in creation that god put in creation for us to let us know that we can change. So this is Miraculous March. I want you to listen with, with great expectation and slow this month down. Let this be the slowest month in the history of your life. What do you mean slow it down? Well, focus on every minute of the month. When things pass real quickly, it says we haven't been focusing. When it seemed like time just got away, it's because we don't focus. But focus on every second of this month. Now let me tell you something. There's some people going to say, wow, the grass became green overnight and all the trees all of a sudden, it just looked like it happened overnight. No, it didn't happen overnight. You were not paying attention. It was little by little. And when you don't pay attention, then you cannot change. When you don't pay attention, you're stuck in a routine. So welcome to Miraculous March and get ready to become what you have only dreamed about. God is getting ready to do something very wonderful and dra very dramatic, just like you're seeing as we move towards springtime in your life. God bless you. Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. Welcome back to your Acts Ministry podcast. We're talking about this, this season of quietness and stillness and rest. We gave you 13 seasons uh, a few days ago, and we've been talking about um, the season that is the precursor to the seasons that we really want to live in. Now, this is day 65. It is the sixth day of March, and we're 65 days in, 65 days in. And I've been telling you to, exhorting you to slow the month down, get everything you need out of this month, because it is so, so very important. This sixth, this seventh season, when you look in the Bible, a uh, season of quietness depicted by the number 40. And the Bible says Solomon reigned for 40 years and he was a man of rest and it was in a season of peace and quietness. And because of that, he was able to build the temple of God, an incredible structure that we won't see again on the earth until the Lord comes back. 
but I want to look at I want to look at uh, in First Chronicle. I want to look at Solomon's uh, entrance. I want to look at uh, this 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 spring time where he was ushered into this season of great exploits. This season of building this incredible temple on the earth that God himself dwelled in. Now, in, in First Chronicles chapter 22, and I want to start with verse number one because I think that, that there are some things here that will bless us and help us as we are entering our seasons, our seasons of rest, our season of restoration, our seasons of peace, our seasons of repentance, and so on. Now, the one thing I want you to understand about uh, Solomon, there is an incredible preparation to enter into the season that he was in. Incredible preparation that was done by David. And we're going to read that because I want you to see it. You know, the Bible says there is a time for everything or season for everything. There's a season to be born and there is a season to die. It says a season to plant and a season to pluck up. As we're moving towards springtime, the 20th of this month, March, will be spring. But we see now what is happening outside in creation. The turning of the grass, the trees, the flowers, what is going on in creation. And I've been admonishing all of us to step into that change. Just walk outside and see what's happening in the natural and receive the spiritual lesson that God placed in creation for us to see. Step into that change. Do not allow the grass and the trees and the flowers to blossom this year without you stepping into that process with them. So it's a time to pluck up. One of the things that we must address is that in spring or approaching spring, where we are now, there are some things that will be plucked up. There are some things that we cannot allow to stay because they will resurrect themselves. They also will be revitalized. And there are some things we got to pluck up. This is called preparing for it. Preparing for spring. Preparing uh, for the harvest. There are some things we have to pluck up. We have to get rid of. There are some things that we have to break down. There are some things that we have to kill there are some things that we have to stay tuned for more of frank stewart greetings in the wonderful name of jesus christ i want to invite you to the acts of ministry 29th church anniversary our speaker will be bishop jason nelson and it will be at 7 p.m march the 8th at 1224 franklin street see you there Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in axeministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, Text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. Cast away. There's, there's some t- things that we have to do in order to get ready for this season. And what helps us is the season of quietness. That's why I'm spending all these days on a season of quietness. Now, once we get to the other 12, we'll be able to move much quicker. But the season of quietness is important because it can lead you into the other seasons. And you're going to see that. You're going to see even when we talked about the season of repentance, dealing with Nineveh. God gave them 40 days uh, to repent. They entered into a season of repentance, but it was a season of quietness. 
season of quietness. When David talks about uh, he restoreth my soul in the 23rd Psalm, when you look at that, you see uh, a season of, of quietness. You, you see steel waters. You see green pastures. You, you see that, that quietness that comes and that usher him into a season of restoration. So the season of quietness is, is so important. So I, I want to read uh, some of Solomon's life and, and how this transpired, how he became that man of rest and peace and so forth. In, in First Chronicles chapter 22, it says, Then David said, This is the house of the Lord God, and this is the altar of burnt offering for Israel. So David commanded to gather the aliens who were in the land of Israel, and he appointed masons to hew, to cut hew stones to build the house of God. And David prepared iron in abundance for the nails of the doors of the gates and for the joints and bronze in abundance beyond measure and cedar trees in abundance. For the Sidonians and those from Tyre brought much cedar wood to David. Now David said, Solomon my son is young and inexperienced, and the house to be built for the Lord must be exceedingly magnificent, famous and glorious throughout all countries. I will now make preparation for it. So David made abundant preparation before his death. Now, see, you, you have to see this now. Because this is a season of ushering Solomon into his season where he can accomplish this incredible task. It is preparation. So even when you're in this season of quietness and, and, and you move in there, there's, there's things that must be plucked up, things that must be done. Now, the thing that you're going to see here is David helped him, helped supply him with everything that he needed so he could enter into this season of quietness. What he had accomplished, the wars and stuff he had, he had, he had achieved and he had gained. But the other thing is the friendship. Some of these, some of the people that David is going to engage are not those that are children of God, but they are super talented. They are created for certain purpose. They are workmen. They are they are craftsmen. They are they are men that have incredible talent. So he, he he forms an alliance with the different ones. So when Solomon comes into the season that God had prepared for him this season of quietness, everything would be ready for him to be able to accomplish this incredible feat. Now notice what David says about the temple of God. He said, it must be exceedingly magnificent, famous, and glorious throughout all countries. Now, now to build the temple and all the gold they put in it, and the bronze and, and overlay and, and, and the silver and, and everything, you, you couldn't, it'd be hard to build something like that today. The, the temptation of, of people stealing. It, it would be as if you would say all the gold in Fort Knox would be just placed outside on display. Nah, no bars, nothing, just out there. So you, you, you see, it would be very difficult for that to happen uh, in our day and time. But here, in Solomon's season of quietness, what had been prepared for him, he was going to use. Now, there's preparation done, but in this season of quietness, he is going to build this incredible structure. But there had been some plucking up, a season to pluck up some things, some season to uh, refrain from embracing, so a season of casting down, a season of breaking things into pieces. All this was done to put Solomon in a place where he could be most effective and doing what he was called to do. Now, watch this as we move into verse uh, number six. Now, I want to make a note of this. He says Solomon was inexperienced 
and he was young, very young, very inexperienced. So God put him in a season of quietness to bring a level of prosperity, holistic prosperity, when God was going to dwell in the midst of them in the house of God, in this temple, that it brought notoriety from all around the world. This was an incredible place. And the design of this place, the workmanship, the craftsman that was involved in this, it was quite remarkable. So here's David. He set it up for him. Got everything ready. Everything ready so he could fulfill the task. So it, it says, Then he called for his son Solomon, charged him to build a house for the Lord God of Israel. And David said to Solomon, My son, as for me, it was in my mind to build a house to the name of the Lord my God. But the word of the Lord came to me, saying, You have shed much blood and have made great wars. You shall not build a house for my name, because you have shed much blood on the earth in my sight. Behold, a son shall be born to you, you shall be a, who shall be a man of rest, and I will give him rest from all his enemies all around. His name shall be Solomon, for I will give peace and quietness to Israel in his day. He shall build a house for my name, and he shall be my son, and I will be his father, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. So here's God talking to David, telling David what was going to happen and the rest and quietness and peace he was going to uh, allow to happen in Solomon's day because in, in, in that quietness and in that peace and in that stillness without fighting any wars brothers and sisters it's hard to accomplish destiny or purpose when there is a constantly fighting of wars and putting out fires now, in David's time, it was natural. But in our times, we have to look inside. And if we allow the enemy to constantly steal our peace and to bombard us with thoughts of fear and, and thoughts that comes to us, us of insecurities, then we'll never fulfill the building of what God has for us to build. We'll, we'll never do it. And I'm not talking about a physical building. I'm talking about purpose. The purpose that he created us to establish. The purpose that he has for us. Because purpose not only affects us, but it affects others. You notice David's purpose led into Solomon's purpose and into his season of quietness. Because Solomon would not have been able to do this without his father, David. And what I'm saying is that in fulfilling our destiny, it impacts other people's destiny around us. So this season of quietness, season of quietness, season of stillness, and this is something that has to be practiced. This is not something that you just start doing at a whim in a busy society. It has to be practiced. And that's what we start talking about in, in in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 Meditating on the word Day and night Then he says you're going to have Good success And you're going to have Great prosperity when you do that So I want you to stay tuned we got one more lesson On the season of quietness And rest and peace And then we're going to go further But this is the season that we got to get right So we spent four days on this this is a season we must get right because it is the season that leads into the other seasons that we desire for our lives. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Morning Glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday school begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word, join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. At our Conway location, 
Morning Glory begins at 10 a.m. Sunday School begins at 10.30 a.m. Worship Service begins at 11.30 a.m. On Thursday, our Bible class begins at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank 